don't you tell us your name, position, and in a nutshell, what you do at DeMail. My name is Greg Schumacher. My position here at the Mail is a technology development engineer. Um, I am a mechanical designer that works on new projects that we develop here at the Mail Engineering for the fiber optic industry. Greg, you have been here for 15 years. Take us through your career journey. I started here as a tool maker, um, working on the wire DM and jig grinders on the shop floor. I was out there for about three years and I started transitioning into product development. And shortly thereafter, I moved into manufacturing engineering. Um, I was primarily manuf manufacturing engineering for five years and then transitioned kind of completely over to the product development side of the business. Um, and I've been doing that for the last seven years. You know, starting out on the shop floor gave me a lot of knowledge of how the parts are made, um, you know, what it takes to make the parts. Um, and I really take that and put that into my designs. You know, I'm always thinking about how the part's being made as I'm designing the model. Um, I wanna make sure that it's not only um, able to be made, but it is also able to be made fairly cheaply. You know, if you make a complex part, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. Um, and that means less um, profit for us. So I'm always trying to think of what's the best way to make it as I'm drawing the part. I work with two other guys in product development. Um, one of them, John, is a, an electrical engineer. Um, Dennis has a wide variety of background in developing software uh, to control the different machines and uh, control systems. Um, we also work with everybody on the shop floor, you know, trying to gain knowledge um, on how to put it together, how to make parts the best way they can be made. Um, we work with sales staff uh, who are in direct contact with the customers who are giving us the feedback we need to move forward and make our products the, the best they can be. What kind of education did you have when you started? Two-year technical diploma from Alexandria Technical College for tool making. Most of it was on the job training. Um, I went to a couple week-long classes for SolidWorks to extend the training in SolidWorks, but I've had some other CAD and CAM software um, experience in the past. So it was kind of an easy transition. So Greg, why is manufacturing a viable career industry? Uh, manufacturing is, you know, not going to go anywhere. Um, it's getting more technical and more advanced um, every day to uh, make parts better faster um, and they're uh, involving more robotics every day to uh, speed up the process and remove kind of the human interaction. Product development really gives you the, the freedom to think and come up with your own ideas and you know think of something that's never been thought of before. No, I mean, I, I really enjoy engineering right now. I'm, you know, I've, I've transitioned out of quite a few things and, you know, and I'm really haven't fully stepped out of it. You know, I'm still brought out um, when there's questions on certain machines that I did run very well, you know, 10, 12 years ago, um, and they're still asking me questions. Um, so I, I don't ever seem to be taking hats off. I just 
keep putting more on. So what is it about DeMail that keeps you there? There's a great work environment here. Um, there's great staff that, you know, that is very knowledgeable and great to work with. Um, we do a lot of cool, new, exciting stuff. We're always pushing uh, the envelope and de developing new equipment um, and new ideas. Um, we're always encouraged to uh, come up with new stuff and bring our ideas forward and listen to and rewarded for that as well. We got a great team. There's a lot of knowledge um, that, you know, in the manufacturing, um, all the guys on the floor have a lot of knowledge of what they're doing. Um, they pass that on to the younger people coming in and uh, to keep everybody trained. And so we're doing kind of what's uh, the best practice that we can do. Oh, we have engineers that have several different back backgrounds between manufacturing, electrical, thermal, um, that kind of bring everything to the table. Um, and then they share and uh, we can do some very diverse projects. So what advice would you give a student who is in their after graduation decision-making stage? I would say, you know, be open to, to all opportunities. Um, don't kind of exclude stuff out of your, you know, your path. Be open to options that, you know, might not be your original path and could lead you somewhere that could be better. I'm definitely not where I expected to be when I graduated college, and uh, I think I'm I'm better for it. And I've, you know, been open to a lot of different opportunities, and I've learned a lot along the way. Don't be afraid to speak up and share your thoughts. And um, you might not always have the right answer, but when you're brainstorming with other people, it might lead somebody else to the final answer so it's always good to be open and voice your your thoughts and be able to build on somebody else's as well perfect great thank you greg